Today I'm going to be talking to you about the new ZR1 hood from ACS Composite. This video is sponsored by ACS Composite, makers of quality accessories for your Corvette. Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be talking to you about the new ZR1 hood from ACS Composite. So guys, about a year and a half ago when we were at SEMA, I did a live broadcast about a, a C7, it was a 2014 C7 that had was in pretty distressed uh, condition I guess at that point and uh, there was a contest that uh, Foose was doing uh, that was if you wrote in and you told them why you really wanted to have your car redone um, that they would uh, you know possibly win that contest and and this gentleman's son actually uh, wrote in told them all about the car and it turned out to be it was a 2014 uh, C7 and uh, they went ahead and they did that they redid that car with that ZR1 hood and I'm going to play that little bit of video right there so you can see what that's all about because uh, we did a live broadcast about it and I was asking ACS back in those days when, that, when I first saw that hood I said ACS I'd love for you to sponsor me in this or something to that effect and um, guess what's happening they came through and they did it for me so guys sit back and relax and uh, hopefully you enjoy the show Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're at the last day of SEMA. Um, standing here in front of a 2014 Chevrolet Corvette that is going to be aired on overhaul in here. Um, it's on display here uh, at SEMA right now and it's got, it has to go back for a few final uh, tunes uh, of the suspension and that type of stuff. And then the folks will actually get this back. Uh, I think just in time for their show. Um, this this show will actually, from what I understand, will be airing on November uh, of uh, November 14th. Um, and so, you know, go ahead and check that out. Um, the, I talked to the couple earlier that own it. Uh, their son uh, had wrote in to overhauling about getting it done, and uh, and it was picked. And so this is a very interesting uh, interesting story behind this. They they uh, they pranked him. They came out. Uh, the gentleman that owns it, um, he used to be in a, a rock band, and so they all showed up at his house there, um, all like they were fans. And um, just as they were out there talking and and uh, you know saying how nice, you know, trying to meet each other and all that type of stuff. Uh, I guess uh, from what I'm understanding that Chris went and took like a $2,000 uh, electric guitar and busted it over the windshield of this car. It was originally black and um, so I guess the owner, the, the, the wife was actually telling me about this and uh, guys if you're seeing this video I apologize for not having the names but um, anyway she was really tickled about this. He's, she said he just kept his composure, he just walked over there and clocked him, knocked him right out with a right. So at that point, everybody came out of the woodwork to stop him from beating this guy to death. But anyway, and I don't blame him on that one there, but then they had to tell him that they were from the show. So so anyway, they, um, I guess they've had it now for uh, a month or two and uh, they've like totally redone it. Like I said, it's a 2014, uh, it was a 2014 Stingray and they've done a lot of work to it. Um, as you can see on the front there, um, that hood, that's a uh, ACS composite uh, replica of the ZR1 hood. And it, uh, I've been wanting to do one of those to my car. This is probably the deciding factor. I actually got to see it in, uh, in person, so uh, probably we'll be doing that soon. Hey, ACS, if you guys are watching this, I want this hood. I want you to sponsor me so I can actually get this, get this done. This thing just looks awesome. So guys, we finally got the cars down to Trino's and they're going to go ahead and do their magic on the hoods and get them all painted up. And uh, while the cars are here, we're both having some uh, work done. I'm getting some stuff fixed, some rock chips and stuff fixed. 
and uh, Terry's having some custom work, custom paint work done, and we'll be showing you that here later in the video. guys we're here at Trino's I'm here picking up my car I'm seeing it here for the first time it's looking pretty good take a look at that guys going in there that way okay so guys take a look at this thing isn't this just beautiful They did an awesome job. Take a look underneath this hood here. See right there, the ACS right there. It's inlaid there. The under hood is all done in carbon, fl uh, carbon flash. Now, you notice here John's holding this hood up. Um, this hood weighs a lot more than the carbon fiber. I shouldn't say a lot more, but it, it weighs more than the, the carbon fiber hood that came on the car. And so uh, we're gonna have to be replacing these, uh, these struts. I already have them at home. I just forgot to bring them because John was going to change them out for me, but um, I wasn't smart enough to bring them with me. So uh, he's gonna, uh, I'm just gonna have to put them on myself. So All right, guys. We're here with the cars finally. I wanted to be able to show you what it looked like beforehand as you've already seen in the video. Um, you saw us go and take the cars in and they did all the different work. Trinos did a really good job putting everything together. And uh, we're now got the cars over here um, back at home. And I just wanted to be able to show you that this hood, this ZR1 hood from, uh, from ACS, it 
it's the same exact hood, but we're on a, these cars are both 2014 cars. They're both Z51s, um, but by painting them differently and having different grills, they just make a complete different look. Um, as you can see right here, this is the traditional front C7 grill uh, and front bumper. Um, and then uh, Terry wanted to go ahead and paint the, the hood all uh, carbon flash as well as the line all the way around the body. And um, it just gives the car, even though it retains the, the, the same look, it makes it just that more aggressive and it's just a really, really good look. Now, when you turn around and you look at mine, which I have modified the heck out of my car, as you guys all know, um, it's got the ZR1 front end on it, I put the ZR1 wheels on it, I've done all the wing, you've done it. But you can see here that by painting it like a ZR1, that the hood looks even more different. They both look aggressive, they both look great, but they have a total different look. So what I'm trying to show you guys is that this hood is very versatile. And so depending on whatever look you're going for, you're going to be able to get it with this. So um, we're going to take some, some different pictures and video along the way, some little more side-by-side -side stuff so you can see what it looks like from the side and so on and so forth. Um, and you'll be able to we'll put this in the video so you can see it. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and lift the, the hoods up so you can take a look underneath the, the hoods. Um, this one is got to be, without a doubt, where this hood shines. Um, when I was looking for a hood, there's a lot of these ZR1 uh, replica hoods that are out on the market. Um, to my knowledge, and guys, if there are other ones that are out there and you guys want to send that in to me so I'll know, um, I'm going to say this one is the most finished hood that's out there. I, I talked to uh, various different builders, and they um, they basically said uh, you know, some of them needed you have to use hinge pins. So that means that the, the hinges themselves don't work. Um, so you're going to have you know you're going to have it's not going to work the factory. Um, some of them they these eyes are right here. It looks great from the outside, but when you lift the hood up. It was all just bolted together. You can see how the two different pieces of fiberglass had gotten molded together, not molded, but molded, and then they finished it out on the outside. This is one solid mold. So um, this is just a much better build. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to, to show that to you guys. Um, we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna show you that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the car back down to the shop and I'm gonna show you what's involved in taking your hood off and putting it and putting yours on. All right, guys, we finally got the car down to the shop here. And um, as you can see, the new hood is on the car already. And now our, our original idea of doing this video was to uh, show you the original hood and, and us taking it down to, the, down to Trinos and having them paint it and, and then us hauling the hood back down here to their shop and, and our shop's about 90 miles away from Trino's and uh, after we were talking about it Trino's they just wanted to go ahead and put the hood on just to make darn sure that they didn't end up having a problem they wanted to make sure it was adjusted right they wanted to make sure that that uh, we didn't scratch the thing and them having to deal with it again um, you know afterward they did such a good job on these hoods I just you know we just love how they look but um, but we wanted to make sure that the, that in the video you guys got to see what you need to look for and what to do. So uh, Terry's going to uh, explain this to you and exactly he's going to go and lift the hood. He's going to show you some of this stuff here. And then uh, we've got the other hood right here on the side and he's going to show you what's involved with what bolts we got to remove and all that type of stuff. So uh, I'm just going to kind of jump out of the picture. I'm going to grab the other camera so it... Um, it's actually, we, we can get all the information here. So I'm gonna let that one run. We're gonna come right over here, and this way Terry can talk about it a little bit. So, okay, go uh, ahead. On your original hood, there's only four bolts. This one, this one, and two on the other side. Them are the only things that hold the hood on. Okay. So that's what you need to do is you'll take them four out. It's best to have someone help you with this, even though the thing only weighs 13 pounds. 
It's right. still nice. You don't want to drop the hood on the front of the car. Right. So have somebody help me take these out. These are like half inch bolts, real easy. Then you take the hood completely off. Okay. These struts, you'll need to order different ones because this hood weighs 13 pounds. Or this hood that we have on it now weighs about 30, 35 pounds. The original hood only weighs 13. So these struts won't hold this weight up. These you can get on, where is it, Scott? We just got them right off of Amazon, yeah. Amazon, so you can get them off of Amazon or eBay, either one of them. Was, um, there, was there a certain number or poundage? Or um, I can like put that? that information on the screen of what it was. They're, okay. No, they're all very generic. Um, I bought a set for this car, and then I bought a set for Terry's car also. And they do variate a little bit. This one lifts up and holds it fine. Uh, Terry's actually will, even though the exact same part number, the, it actually will lift it from about halfway all the way up. Mine, you have to bring it all the way to the top to hold it. So they do variate a little bit. Um, but, uh, yeah, you're definitely going to need it. These were both, uh, Terry's and my car, are both 2014 cars. So those struts were starting to get a little bit weak and it's just the difference in weight. It just wasn't going to hold it. So, and these are actually really simple to take off. There's just a little clip. You take a screwdriver and pop it out and these just slide off. That one over there is a little difficult just because of the intake area that's there and it kind of takes up right. room, but it's doable. It's yep. just you got to be have a little patience, which that's why I let Scott do them. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have to take any of this apart, guys. Um, you can just reach in with your arm back over in here, right through here. Um, you can also reach down through here, and you can take a small screwdriver, a uh, flat blade screwdriver, and it'll pop it off. Right you can see one of the clips right here. You're just basically going to put a screwdriver right in there, and it pops this loose, and you'll be able to take it off. Now, again. Uh, you know, you, you definitely need to have uh, some help so you have somebody holding the hood up for you so it doesn't fall on you, okay? Um, but that that's about it on here. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to move move you over well, to the original stop. hood. Let me explain something a okay, little bit sure. about these things. You betcha. Sorry about that. Okay. The, when you take the hood off, when the hood's off the car, you need to take these little rubbers out. All there is little adjustments when the hood, so that the hood's not flapping. Okay. And just unscrew Okay. There's no big deal. They're just little rubber things. Okay. Then you have to take these off. These are actually the latches. Okay. You'll take them off. You don't have to worry about lining any of this up because ABS has already done all that for you. All you got to do is just put them back in and hold them up and they'll shut. These here, the adjustments, when you get this hood on, that's where you're going to need help adjusting it. You can get it so that when you put this in, just put the hood and let the hood slide down. As far as you can put the bolt in, just let the, the hood slide down onto the hinges as far as the bolts will allow it. Then you can start adjusting from that point. It's either got to pull it up or left or right to get all this to line up. Right. So let me go over here and I'll show you what we okay. did with the old room. Okay. This here is where the latches are and they just bolt right back on. The rubber things, I've got, I've got tie wraps. We're going to hang this wing, uh, this wing, this hood up at, yeah. on the, the building here for us. Anyway, that demo isn't there. But that right there is where you screw in them little rubber things. It's right there. You don't have to do anything with this. That's all fixed. And then this is where the, this is where the hinge hinges goes right in. Yep. slide down. That's why when you slide them down, you put your bolts in. And there's a little bit of adjustment. This one here, not much. This one here has a little more. That's so you can get the hood, come back over here, Scott, Okay. to line up. Now, when you go to line this up, I'm going to close this and show you what would be a wise thing to do. Let me just set it down. When you're doing this, if you can get some body tape and take this whole edge and take this whole edge around here in the front and same on this side. Because when you go to put the hood on, when you start adjusting it, this gap here will close up and then this one will be wide. And then you're trying to get them even. Well, when you're doing that, if you just start putting the hood up and down, you're going to start hitting and knocking the paint, the chips off of this. Right. That's you on both, both edges. You don't want to do that. So the tape is just a protection. And it'll save you a lot of headaches because you've got this nice hood. Right. And you get it all on here. 
and you go to adjust it and you tear the paint up. <laughs> yeah, not you know, now yeah. you're not gonna be happy. Yeah, not 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 cool. So yeah, you wanna and you wanna take your time going up and down with the hood. Don't just slam it. Just lower it down a, a little bit at a time or raise it back up, same thing. Um, that way you can make sure that you don't mess up the, the hood or the fenders. And Trini's was really good to us for the simple reason they went and painted them and mounted them for us because they didn't want to have to do them again <laughs> right. for any simple reason. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And if your body shop is willing to do that, it, it's, it's up to you. Whether you decide to, the body shop decides to do what you want to do. Me, if you can talk them into it, let them put them on. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely. all they do all day long. Right. And they can get adjusted. But on the other hand, you can do this. It's, it's not a big thing. It's just something you have to have patience and be very slow about. It's not going to just put the hood on, put the bolts and slam it. And it's good. It ain't going to work like that. Right. You're going to have to adjust things. There are one thing that I might want to point out is when you close the hood, I'll close it again. Right here, these hoods don't really come right perfect with this, so you want to get this distance here on both sides as even as you possibly can. And I'm sure the reason that this is done is for the simple reason on a patent. There are certain little things you can do and certain things you can't do. When I used to build boats, we would take, and if you had to, some, to do something like this, you had to change the pattern 30%. So they possibly had to do the same thing here. And that's why this is like this. Because okay. if they made it exactly the same, Chevrolet can come over and say, you know what, we're suing you. you. You just went and copied exactly what we did. So when you see little things like this, it's not the hood. It's because they had to do them kind of things. Built in by design. around the laws and the way it is. Right. So when you're doing it, when you look at that, you'll see why. Right. Because that was a big thing with me. Exactly. When they brought it back, they brought hey, 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 what's this? What's this? And then they explained it to me. Right. And that's exactly why I'm explaining it to you. Great. Yeah. But because, I mean, it. you're looking at a $2,500 hood, and if it was... If it was a, a factory hood, you're probably looking at 7,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah easy, exactly. Easy. Right. But the hoods myself, I like them. On my car, we did my car a little different, as you can see in the video that Scott was doing. I wasn't here. I was on vacation. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, mine, we painted it on this body line. You can see it in the video. But we painted it all the way down to here. I wanted to kind of get a contrast between two different ways you could do it. So we did Scott's, was this his idea? This is what Scott wanted. And I seen what I wanted on a little tin sign. Yep, which by the way, I got him for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> and then the wife seen it, she goes, that's what you're doing to the car. I'll be honest, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I painted mine all the way down to here, as you'll see in the video, and it's all black, like this. And my car being a silver car in the center of it, it just fit. So I went and did it that way. I really yeah. like it. The hood is awesome. Well, that was what I was telling them, Terry, when we were show when I was showing them the cars. The same hood has such a different look mm -hmm. on the two different cars. I mean, they, it's they, it's if day you and look night. At them, you're thinking there's two different hoods here. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Just because of the way it was painted. And another thing I'll point out. That got my wife, she sat down in the car, and she goes, I can't see the front of the car anymore. <laughs> so it's what it's done because of this, being raised up like that, your view, you used to be able to see the front of the car. Right. So just be careful when you start driving it again. Remember that, that this is a lot shorter <laughs> right. than it used to be. Yeah. So you, you don't want to be running in, into things. So that's just another little tidbit that we found when we put the hood on. Which is, it doesn't affect your driving, doesn't affect the car, and it's just you adjusting yourself. Yeah, having to get, what, are we, what we so found is we were, ra we were raising our seat up even higher. And, and, <laughs> and, uh, and his wife, Linda, she's going to end up having to get a pillow, I think, to be able to, because, guys, let me see You're if I can, sure this, I know, right? I know. <laughs> let me see if I can show you this. Um, I'm, uh, just from here, let me show you the a difference in height. Okay. This is this the original. Yeah, normally, one. it just normally clears right where Terry's hand is. Now let me open the door, and I'm gonna see if I can get in here, and you can see, you can see in here, and you can see how high that sits up. 
Let's see if I can get it over here like this. So you can see what I'm talking about. I'm looking straight out just like I normally would be. And you can see that you can't see that front corner. You just cannot see it. So you can see how much higher that is. You know, yeah, it's way, way down below. So, I mean, it's awesome. Once you get used to driving it, it's great. Uh, but uh, I tell you, when you first get in it, you're like, whoa, what happened? Yeah, well, you're, you're just yeah. got to change your perception. Your perception is different because of the hood. Right. You, know, you just got to get used to saying, okay, when I use this as an indication where I was, now I got to find something else. Right. So, so yeah. So guys, um, again, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. Um, you know, it's, uh, it, this was a fun ride. This was, this was really cool doing this. This took a long time. Um, as you know, I made a few announcements about this video getting done and, um, and it's taken a while to do it. One was the cars were in and out of the shop. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip this around here. Um, so the cars were in and out of the shop for various different things. I was having stuff done. Terry was having stuff done. I was on vacation. Then he goes on vacation, you know, all that type of stuff. So anyway, this thing did get delayed. I have had a few of you reaching out to me almost every week saying, Hey, when is that video coming out? Um, guys, I'm going to get it out as, as soon as I can possibly get this edited now and hopefully we'll have it. Um, and, um, I've also done a, a picture, or I took a picture of this aerial. I also did it with, uh, Terry's. I'll put this in the video so you can see it, but we're going to be making shirts like this. So if you guys are interested in doing, uh, having, uh, having one of those shirts done, let reach out to me. We are getting very, very close to finally getting our merchandise store ready to go. And so we'll be doing that. We'll be doing hats and shirts and cups and, you know, a whole bunch of different stuff and as well as some of the things that we're starting to become dealers for. So uh, the, the channel is growing, the business is growing, and um, hopefully it's, it's gonna take off and it's gonna do well. So if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, reach out to me, and if we haven't gotten it up on the, on the site yet, that's fine, we'll, uh, we'll be able to make arrangements to get you something uh, as, as soon as possible, okay? So again, hopefully you guys found this video helpful, informative, and if you did, make sure that you check out our website, just thecorvettechannel.com, and be sure and go to acscomposite.com, and they will be able to get you set up with all the stuff. I'm gonna put that information here on the screen, but they'll be able to get you set up with these hoods, uh, with the arrow, you name it, they've got it. So, uh, and not just for uh, Corvette, they've got it for a lot of different stuff. So. Uh, just reach out to them. Let them know when you make these orders that uh, that you saw it on the Corvette channel. Um, that helps us, that helps them be able to help us. Uh, Jonathan over there at ACS, he's really good about trying to make sure we get all the stuff that we possibly can get. Um, but it definitely lets them know if if they know that you're coming to them because of the Corvette channel, that makes his job just that much easier. So when he goes to his boss and says, hey, we need to send some more stuff to these guys, they'll be able to go ahead and do it, okay? So anyway, guys, thank you guys again for watching and I hope you guys have a great one. And again, sorry for the delay, but we finally got it done. All yeah, right. I apologize for the delay. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Do He's on right vacation. Now. I know, right? <laughs> so anyway, guys, again, thanks a lot. You have a good night. We hope you enjoyed watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.